between his eyes will be written kafir kafara every one believer everyone who hates his action will be able to read it or every believer will be able to read it but ibn taymiyyah said rahimallah the fitna of the dajjal is not limited to his time and his place and his situation and his circumstance but everyone anyone who moves away from islam because of something extraordinary has been touched and inflicted by a fitna of the Dajjal. Everyone who is so impressed by the way of life of the disbelievers, the fact that these people prance around the earth with ease and their opulence and their wealth and their extravagance in their denial of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he uses that as a cause for him to turn away and move away from Islam has been touched by a fitna of the Dajjal. Because he will come upon a people, right, claiming to be Lord, claiming to be Allah. And he will say to the people, do you not believe I'm your Lord? And they will believe in him. They will say, yes, you're our Lord. And so he will point to the sky and the rain will come. And the beasts will become big. Grass will grow, the crops will grow, and they will eat and they will be healthy and prosperous and have fruitful profit in their trade. And then he will go to a people and say, Do you not believe in me? And they will refuse belief in him. And their beasts of prey will die, and the crops will not grow, and they will die in that state because of the test because of the difficulty of remaining upon Islam even though things become hard a man will go to him a Bedouin and the Dajjal will say to him Araita in ba'athu laka abaka wa ummik atashadu anni rabbuk do you see if I brought your parents back to life again your father and your mother would you believe that I'm your lord fayaqulu na'am and he will say yes I would believe that you're my lord فَتَمَثَّلَهُ شَيْطَانًا فِي صُرَةِ أَبِيهِ وَأُمِّهِ And so two shaytans will take the appearance of his parents. فَيَقُولَانَ And his parents will say, يَا بُنَيَّ اِتْبَعُوا فَإِنَّهُ رَبُّكَ Our son, follow him because he's your Lord. But another man will come and he'll be met by the arms and the guards of the Dajjal. And he will say, I want to see the one who claims to be Lord. And they will say, you have no permission to do that. But then after a while, they will give him permission. And he will go to the Dajjal. And he will say, I testify that you are. Ashadu annaka Dajjal alladhi haddathana fihi wa Rasulullah hadithan. I testify that you are the one that our Prophet spoke of, the false Messiah. And a man will say, the Dajjal will say to his army, أَرَأَيْتُمْ إِنْ قَتَلْتُ هَذَا ثُمَّ أَحْيَيْتُهُ If I kill this person and then brought him back to life, أَتَشُكُّونَ فِي الْأَمْرِ Would you doubt in the matter? فَيَقُولُونَ لَا And they will say, no. فَيَقْتُلُهُ ثُمَّ يُحْيِيهِ And he will kill this individual. Between his head and his legs, he will cut this person in two. Then he will walk between him. And then he will bring this man back together again. And this man will raise up alive. And the man will say, Wallahi ma kuntu ashakka qatta abasiratan minya al-an. By Allah, I've never had more conviction that you are the Dajjal than I have right now. And it says that the Dajjal will throw him and it will appear to the people of the Dajjal that he has been thrown in the fire, but he's been thrown in paradise. But the thing is, the Muslims have to avoid him. The way that you avoid the fitna today, isn't it? You avoid the harm. مَنْ سَمِعَ بِالْدَجَّالِ فَلْيَنْعَ عَنْهُ Whoever hears of the Dajjal should distance himself from him.